Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, or should I say Skeleton the Woo, right here. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. He's talking about me and the first ever from my new home where I've slept well the last week here in Orange County, California. It's time for the first annual California Mail Vlog. Look at these packages back here. Look at these letters that you guys have sent me. I have just returned from the post office and I've grown a secondary head next to the horror hallway. Look at that. That hallway here in my home, me and my roommates affectionately have named that the horror hallway. And the horror hallway is home to Frankenstein. Don't be confused though, because the skeleton head that my buddy Zoso gave me also known as Hank from former vlogs. Let me stay with him before I moved in to my California, Orange County, California home. He gave me this. The first thing that was ever brought into the house was this head of a skeleton. But he actually goes in the kitchen. So I'm gonna return him back to his home in the kitchen after the vlog. I returned from the post office basically about a week ago, I don't know, four or five days ago. I actually mentioned that if you guys send me envelopes and follow my explicit instructions, which 98.7% of you did, which is actually very good percentage and odds, to just write stickers on an envelope. So all of these have the names on the front and you have written stickers on the front of them and also other instructions I'm sure are going to be inside there. Because I do not want to have a three-hour mail vlog, I'm actually not going to read any of the sticker envelopes on the air, but I will, after, what did I say on the air, on the vlog, but afterwards I will be opening these up, I will be analyzing what you have written, your kind words that you're sending to me, and all the self-addressed stamped envelopes that are in here. I will be packing full of wonderful things in the form of Adam the Woo stickers. I will be mailing those out to you in the next couple of days. I want to read off some names of people that sent me stickers. Stein Honor, Silver Springs, Maryland, sent me an envelope. Waverly, West Virginia, didn't have a name on there. I'm sending you some stickers. Cindy Weathers, you're getting some stickers. Timothy Martin in Fargo, North Dakota, you're getting some stickers. Warren Rubin, you're getting some stickers. John Scruggs and Candace Scruggs, you're getting some stickers. Someone by the name of Binter in Maricopa, Arizona, sending you some stickers. Keith Sodden, you're getting stickers. Angie Jensen, you're getting stickers. Joe Ao, Pina, Pena, J O A O. That's an unusual first name, but a very awesome first name. You live here in Orange. California, that's pretty close to where I am. Maybe I'll see you roaming around and you can actually tell me how to accurately pronunciate your name. Awesome, sending you some stickers. Beth Phillips, you're getting stickers. A. Kratzenberg in Tucson, Arizona, you're getting stickers. Nick Kemper, you're getting stickers. An anonymous person here getting stickers. They wrote on the back. Adam enclosed a self-addressed stamp. Envelope, I asked you to autograph it for me. I will do that and I will send this back to you. An unusual person with a postage stamp, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I love Philadelphia. Adrian! Rocky, I ran the Rocky steps in the vlog. Love Philly. Ronnie, her, H-E-R-R. -R. You will be getting some stickers. Vincent Jimenez, some stickers. Stephanie Rysikwich in Las Vegas, Nevada. You're getting some stickers. Richard Palm, stickers. Jekowicz in New Smyrna, Florida. Actually, I have friends that live in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Not far from the actual legit New Smyrna, Florida. Roland Chartier in Norwalk, California. You're getting stickers. Someone by the name of Bo. What if this is Bo Jackson? Bo knows stickers and will know stickers very soon because I'm going to be sending you some stickers as well. Someone in Hollywood, Florida, the other coast of Hollywood, East Coast Hollywood. Not Hollywood, California. Frederick J. Smith. I'm going to be sending you some stickers. Lori Stamp. Stamp Meyer. Stamp Dane. Stamp. I can't read that because the post office is actually stamped over the top of your name. 
Coral Springs, Florida. I love more Floridians. Sending me sticker request. Someone by the name of Young. This is a Mockingbird Lane, Dallas, Texas. You're getting some stickers. You can see how they've written. Stickers, please. So if you send me envelopes like this, write stickers, please, on it so I know not to actually bog down the vlog with a bunch of sticker opening packages that would take forever. I want to concentrate mostly on this type of stuff that you're looking at before you and keep the sticker stuff for a whole separate ensemble after the vlog. I can read your letters later. Adam Erickson, you have requested some stickers. Brian Guevara, Guevara in Linden, Pennsylvania. Attention stickers, and you highlighted it, emphasizing the fact that you wanted some stickers. Ryan and Gloria Lindenfeller, a.k.a. Captain Ron 27, Woobraham Lincoln. Stickers, shall you? Okay, so all of these fine folks will be receiving stickers if you would like some Adam DeWoo stickers or other wonderful things, or send me a letter, private letter for me to read. Send it to my post office box, P.O. Box 0, I'm sorry, P.O. Box 1008, Orange, California, zip code 92856. I will put the address down below as well as more instructions. So, let me put these over here. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. I'm so excited. When I picked these up a little bit ago at the post office, I was like, what is going on here? The first one I was wondering was this quilted Charmin. Quilted Northern package, I thought, man, I wonder what awesome goodies would be inside of here. And then I noticed through the crack in here, there's actually, really is toilet paper. So I'm thinking either it's very well hidden or there actually is some sort of toiletry items. Yes, look at this, eight rolls of Quilted Northern. And it was actually sent from, I do not know who this is, Amazon Fulfillment Services. So this was actually sent from a website, Amazon. So I'm guessing there's a mysterious sender out there. So mysterious, anonymous sender of toilet paper. I thank you. My nether regions, thank you. And my roommates probably will thank you as well because let's face it, roommates borrow toilet paper, usually, the not, hopefully, the non-used of toilet paper. So thank you very much for this. This is absolutely awesome. Toilet paper is not cheap, especially the good stuff like this. Quilted Northern. You can get the one five dollar store brand stuff. But this actually is a lot more comfortable and it's always, it's always actually been good to have something comfortable in your areas where you are utilizing the, fac the facilities. All right, so thank you very much for that. Do not see a letter in there. The next one is from someone, and they wrote on here, don't vlog, which means do not vlog. Do not put this in your vlog. If you send me something just like this gentleman, this ma'am, or this child, this obviously is something they do not want read in the vlog. So I'm going to put this over with the envelopes as well. So follow these kind of rules when you do these. About once every two weeks, I'll be doing a mail vlog after today. So if you don't want something seen or read on the vlog, make sure you write like this gentleman did. Don't vlog. And I'll put it over here with the self-addressed stamped envelopes and I'll open this off of the vlog. All right, I'm excited about this one. <laughs> Look at this. This was sent from Amazon Prime. Look at this, like a battering ram. <laughs> it's a vlog. <laughs> Actually, you should be smiling because if you're going to have a battering ram coming towards you, he should be smiling. Here I come. <laughs> Man, I get really excited. It's almost like Christmas Day. Especially in a new place where you really don't own a lot of stuff. It's exciting to start setting up house, setting up home. So we're going to see what's in here. I have, I don't have a legit knife. I have this butter knife. I don't have any butter in the house, but I do have a butter knife. All right, this one came from Amazon Fulfillment Services. Awesome. I'm thinking... The mysterious secret sender that sent the toilet paper probably sent this as well. So let's see, what do you guys think this is? Yes, I have always wanted brown paper 
to lay my head on, which I don't think this is actually, I think that's just the wrapping for what is inside the box. Oh man, this is awesome. It's a Swiffer sweeper. And here is the bottom of the Swiffer sweeper, which is good because the kitchen floor is tile. This will come in very handy. Most appreciative of this. I think I know who sent me this actually, and I really, I really appreciate it. It's a guy who's been watching my videos for a long time, always helped me out, who's always, always kind of been there for me from the beginning, even before a lot of people even watching my videos. He actually bought me my first cooler for my van when I was living in my van, traveling around. Really appreciate this, and it comes with some Febreze goodness. I'm not sure if the Febreze goes with this, but you always want your home to smell good. So thank you very much, man. I really appreciate this. Awesome, awesome stuff for the house. And I have a lot of cardboard here. If anybody needs any cardboard, this will be floating around the dumpster regions of Orange County, California. All right, now to some envelopes. First, I want to read this postcard. This was not for stickers. Someone by the name of Hope sent me this. My name is Hope. Hope. My name is Hope from Denton, Texas. She collects postcards. And she, I'm guessing it's a she. It could be a he, but I'm thinking it's a she. She goes back to the future. I will send a package one day, but for now, here is a postcard. Look at that. A little Disney history space mountain off in the background there. Am I correct in assuming that Hope is a female name if I am incorrect? If it's a mailman, is it a mailman? I'm the mailman right now. Mail vlog. If it is a male name, I apologize. But Hope, thank you for this wonderful postcard here. I will treasure everything that everybody sends me, especially Disney stuff. I love Disney stuff. All right, off to some packages. First one, first package in this bunch of packages is from David Rosenbaum in Lake Charles, Louisiana vlog and stickers, which means he wants me to vlog this, which means you're about to be shown what he is sending. All right, nothing else inside of there. Here, oh, let's read this letter. Let's read this letter first. We got a letter inside of here. Adam, thanks for your many great vlogs. Keep them coming. Dave, hope you wear an extra large shirt. Normally I wear a large shirt. But I'm not losing any weight, let's be honest. As much as I try to cut back on soda, crappy food, I'm not really losing a lot of weight quickly. So an extra large would be good. An extra large will fit me, definitely. And here's a self-addressed stamp envelope from David, which I will actually put right over here with the other ones, and I will send you some stickers. David, and let's see what David has sent me. Oh, yes! Yes! A Mickey shirt, and I actually need clothes. I was actually gonna go to the thrift store today and buy some clothes, but why do I need to do that? David and other people have sent me wonderful shirts, and I do go to Disneyland a lot, so I'll be wearing this, not only at Disneyland, but also as I lounge around the home and do other wonderful things. Thanks so much, David, I really appreciate that. That is from Dave, an extra large shirt. Normally a large works, but an extra large would work. Do not send me a medium yet until I get down to the weight I need to get down to, which is probably going to be, obviously, never going to happen. So some larges and extra larges. This is from Robert Patrick in Hara? Hara somewhere? I can't read this because the Sharpie has kind of bled into the packaging. Open and vlog. Self-adjust stamped envelope is included in the blue envelope. Please do not show the address. Maybe that's why he did not want the address shown. So let's see what's inside here. I will not read off your address. Robert, I have this stuck to my finger here as well. All right, let's see what we got in here in this envelope. So here is the envelope here from Robert, right here. So I'll be sending that. I will put this over here with the other envelopes of send you stickers. Robert as well. And you sent me some other wonderful things. Cat, look at this, cat. United States of Oklahoma. I lived in Oklahoma, you follow for a while. Peace, patch, 
a love patch, speed kills with a little snail. I love this. This is actually really super cool. Here's a little foot, another cat, and another Oklahoma, the great seal of Oklahoma. Are you from Oklahoma? I'm guessing, yeah, you must be from Oklahoma. Awesome. An Oklahoma, an Oki right here. An Oki from Muskogee. Remember that term? All you Oklahomans out there. I lived close to Oklahoma for a while in a little town right on the biggest man-made lake in the United States, Lake Eufaula, which was really cool. I lived there from 1989 to 1991. Then I moved to St. Cloud, Florida. And now I'm moving here a week ago. Now I live in Orange County, California. So thanks so much for that, Robert. We'll get your stickers out. As well. I know this vlog's getting a little long. We're already 16 minutes in. If you guys are not interested in these mail vlogs, there's plenty of other content on my channel as far as abandoned stuff, filming locations, weird, wacky roadside attractions, and of course theme parks. But I mix it up. I do a different vlog every day. I'm 950 plus days into it without missing an upload yet. This one is from Greystone Inn in Wilmington, South Carolina. No, Wilmington, North Carolina. We do not want to get the North and the South Carolinians mixed up. Let's see what we got in here. Very difficult to get this out of here. <laughs> Hi Adam, I just wanted to write and say that you are doing a great job. I've been watching your videos the past few years and my day is never really complete until I settle down and watch you. We've talked a few times about getting together and hanging out, etc, etc. Dale Wolf MXPX boy. This guy's actually been following me a long time. I need to read a little bit more info on here. And you've actually, gosh, you have put a whole laundry list of filming locations from where you live in North Carolina. I do need to get up there because there's a lot of stuff on the coast of North Carolina that I do want to film. It's good to get a letter from you, man. I really, I know you've been following me for a long time. We have trouble communicating sometimes through email, through Twitter and stuff. So I will actually go over all of this stuff, man, you have sent a plethora of old Wilmington. Look at this. Hollywood, Location Walk, Wilmington, North Carolina, Ghost Walk of Wilmington. Somebody wants me to go to Wilmington, North Carolina. Anybody else in Wilmington? Maybe I could go out to the East Coast, fly out there one day, do a bunch of these filming locations, meet up with MXPX Boy and do some videos. I really appreciate you sending me this, man. Thank you very much. I will go through that later and get a hold of you. For now, continuing on with more mail. This is from Johnny Lee Whitehead in Puerto Rico. He sends me this. He's been following me for a while, too. I think he sends me a lot of stuff on Twitter, some tweets. He reposts my stuff, which is really awesome. If you guys don't follow me on the social networks, it's definitely a good way to get a hold of me. Keep up with what I'm doing as well as these vlogs and my main channel. The Adam the Woo channel. Gosh, I need to get a better knife. All right. What do we have? Oh my gosh. This is going to be good. There is a lot of stuff here. Whoa. Back to the future fan club. Back to the future. Look at this. Marty! What is this woman doing? I never remember that woman, that extra. Michael J. Fox looking very confused. Chris Lloyd, just before Jules and Vern, when one of the boys, Jules and Vern, he actually points at his nether regions. Have you ever seen that clip, Back to the Future Part 3 mistake? This is awesome. Look at this flag. Awesome. This is really cool. I'll put that in my room. As well as, oh, here's a letter. Hello, Adam. I am Johnny Lee Whitehead from Puerto Rico, 42 years old, and I wait for your videos every day. Like a curious child, he says. It reminds me that it's okay to be childish. That's pretty much me, ch childish as they come. I hope you enjoy my gifts and keep showing us beautiful things into the nether regions. Johnny Lee Whitehead, you've also sent a letter here, which I will be sending you some stickers as well. And he has actually sent me two disc special features back to the future part one my favorite movie oh yes a hidden gem in here back to the future patch 
Back to the Future patch from Johnny Lee. Why head from Puerto Rico and a bag for my bike. For my bike. Can you read that? It says for my bike. And what have we here? Yes, it's another bell. How does it work? It's like a different sound. Maybe I got to mount it on there to get it to work. Better. There we go. That was cool. It has like a little bear waving. A waving bear. Very, very cool. I'm littering on my own floor, which I think is actually justifiable and not illegal. Johnny. Johnny. I really appreciate that, man. I know you've been following a long time. I'm really glad you sent me this stuff. I love Back to the Future. I love your passion for Back to the Future as well. All us Back to the Futureians need to honestly really stick together. All right, this is from Abney in Greenville, South Carolina. Okay to vlog, so Abney, I am going to actually vlog the heck out of this right now. I don't need a knife, I'll just tear it open. Here we go. All right, no other letters of goodness in there. 2015 travel guide to California. I'm in California now. I need all the help I can get. Here is a gift card. Man, that is awesome. Thank you very much. A Visa gift card with the receipt in case it did not work. Jack Abney, one of really, my really good friends, went to Dollywood. He came out and went to Dollywood with me. Best wishes to you in your new house. Looking forward to your future West Coast vicarious festooning vlogs of woo goodness. I found a couple of things which I'll send to you in the near future. One item is kind of a gift bag that ties in very funny with the past vlogs. See you this summer. If not, definitely Atlanta. What's happening in Atlanta? Jack, what's happening in Atlanta? Remind me. Am I supposed to do something in Atlanta this summer? I think I am. Remind me what that would be. Love this stuff. Thanks for this. Thank you so much for the Visa gift card. This will come in handy in getting stuff for the house or for gas. Go film videos. Really appreciate this, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. On we go. Only a couple left. This is from the Lawsons in Elmwood Park, Illinois. I also lived in Illinois for a little while in a small town called Leroy. What else starts with an L? Let's woo this. And you can see there's the address. If you want to send me stuff right there, P.O. Box 1008, Orange, California, 92856. I probably need to get a legit letter opener. I still have some stuff back at my parents in St. Cloud, Florida that I need to get my mom to mail me. Some stuff that you guys have sent a year ago when I had a P.O. Box in Florida. Kind of starting all over again out here. All right. The Lawsons. Adam. This is what the note said. Adam, I tried sending you this last year not realizing that you no longer had your Florida P.O. Box. I'm so glad you got another one. Congrats on your move to California. I wish you nothing but happiness in all capital letters. Smiley face, Pamela. Pamela, I really appreciate the kind words as well. Here is a self-addressed stamped envelope. Stickers, please. Thanks with the American flag on it there to send postage back to you to send you stickers as well. All right. You have another letter inside here. It's like a letter inside a letter inside of a letter. Let's see what this is. A button of some sort. Can't read it. Got to open this button. I'm going to have a lot of stories to tell. I'm going to have a lot of stories to tell when I get old. And that is very, very true. I love little pins and buttons and wonderful things like that. And another letter. You wrote a lot of letters. Oh, this must have been the original one that you were going to send to the Florida P.O. Box last year. You sent me money. Oh my gosh. Gift card, some money, and another note. You're awesome. Keep on enjoying your life. Hopefully our paths will cross someday. Pamela Lawson, two letters in one, because my old P.O. box in Florida no longer exists. Sent me some cash, which is very, very awesome. 
I'm very humbled by everything anyone sends, not only the kind words on the social networks, on the videos, but also stuff that you guys are sending in the mail. This is completely overwhelming, and I can't, I honestly, like, I really cannot, I cannot transcend how I'm feeling through a vlog because when you have a camera pointed at you that you just want to act goofy, act dumb, and sometimes you don't know how to really react or to appear to be coming across in the same way that if you were on a one-on-one -on -one situation with one, with someone. This really means a lot to me, all this stuff. Last package here as well. Let me read it off. Henry. I cannot pronounce your last name because the Sharpie has bled together. Henry starts with an S, Junior, from Oregon. Oregon or Oregon? Someone in Oregon said, please do not pronounce it Oregon, it's Oregon. We're still here, we're not gone, so I'm going to try to fix that Oregon, not Oregon. So, try to work on that problem. I also need to try to work on my package opening skills. Alright, last. Little tidbit of goodness. Holy cow, man. You sent me a lot of stuff. A lot of wonderful things from Oregon. Henry in Oregon, you sent me a letter. Dear Adam, congrats, congrats on the new home. Here are a few pictures from my junk pile for you to keep or use as dart, <laughs> dart practice. Your friend, Henry P.S. If you ever get to Oregon, see I said it right, the Salem area, feel free to visit. And he put his email on there. If I ever make it up the coast, which I will be going up to Oregon, up to Seattle, up into Canada, at some point I will be venturing around the West Coast a lot. Thank you for your email. Do not hesitate to remind me of a lot of this stuff. Sometimes it goes in one ear, sits there in festoons for a few months, and then when it's time for me to leave, I forget about certain things like this. Do not hesitate to get a hold of me on the social networks and remind me and say, I sent you this pile of goodness. I sent you this letter. It will refresh my memory and help me stay in tune, not only with keeping in contact with you, but also life in general. It just keeps me on track. I need you guys to help me because, man, sometimes I am off my rocker in my 40-year-old. This is the middle age. When does middle age agedness start? I'm 40 now. All right. Oh my gosh, look at this! Holy cow! Amazing! I love this so much, man. That is awesome. You sent a self-addressed stamped envelope. I'll put it over here with the other ones. And you sent me all this stuff. Cowgirls have more fun. Bigfoot Crossing. World famous drive through tree postcard. Whoa! George Siegel, the Terminator. No, the Terminal Man. I was thinking it was the Terminator, but it's the Terminal Man. Not the Terminator. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told she was here. Can I see her, please? No, wrong movie. This is the Terminal Man. Whoa! Walt Disney's Monkeys Go Home. Blackbeard's Ghost. Absolutely awesome. Very, very cool stuff. I love old school stuff like this, especially. Disney stuff. I think I covered it all. I will be doing these occasionally, probably twice a month, maybe, maybe even weekly. I don't really know. If you guys have watched this, if you've sent me stuff, I'm sending out my appreciation to you from my heart to yours. This completely blows me away. I am excited about being here in California. I'm excited that you guys are still 100% interested in these cards, these kind letters. All those envelopes, which now, after I film the vlog, I'm going to have to read. Hopefully in the next day or two, I'll be sending you guys out your stickers. You sent the self-addressed stamped envelopes, like I was saying down below. The P.O. Box address will be down there. If you just send me a letter, write stickers on it. I will not read it on the vlog. Or if there's something you send me that you do not want read on the vlog, I won't do it. Just put the instructions somewhere on the back package. Thank you very much. Everyone I mentioned in the vlog, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot express how much I love you guys, and I love this circle of goodness that we have created here on the internet. There's a lot of very bad things out in the world, not only in the world, but also online. And I think this whole thing is a positive aspect, a good thing, a non-negative thing 
and I'm glad that you guys embrace it. I embrace it. I just want to thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you.